How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Inventory Lab. Um, Inventory Lab is a really powerful software that I've used for a long time. I love it. Um, you can use it to list your items. You can use it when you're prepping your items. You use it to ship into Amazon and you can also use it for your bookkeeping and I use it for all those things and it's $50 a month. Super worth it especially for the amount of time it'll save just in the listing process alone as well as the bookkeeping end. If you want to go ahead and check it out there'll be a link down below um, to go ahead and check out Inventory Lab. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video and see how Inventory Lab might be able to help out your Amazon business. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to InventoryLab.com. Um, we're going to go ahead and check out the pricing just real quick. Uh, it's $40 a month if you go annually, and it's $50 a month if you go monthly. Um, you can just check that out. The link's going to be down below again. Um, but let's go ahead and log in, and I'll show you how you can use this tool. So this tool can really teach you a lot of different things. The first thing I'll show you right now is just the um, simple process of going ahead and sending in a shipment to Amazon. So the first thing you would do want to do up here is press new batch. And this is going to open up this box here. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and you can do all kinds of different packing types. So if you're if you have um, products that are case packed, meaning everything in the same everything in one box is the same product, you can go ahead and select case packed. I usually do individual and pack things myself. Um, you can do FBA and you can also prep MFN shipments through this or uh, just um, list merchant fulfilled products. Um, this workflow right here, you can do live, which is automatically going to put those in shipments for you. I prefer to do private because it usually um, cuts your shipping costs down, but I think if you do live, it might be a little faster on the prepping side. Um, someone could educate me on that, maybe teach me why I should be using live, but I use private. Um, you're going to select all label unless you want to pay the fees to go ahead and send that into Amazon. Um, you're going to provide box content. You can also add your minimum and maximum price preferences um, to go ahead and send to Amazon so that it will uh, strand your inventory if it goes outside of the price parameters you want it to be. And then you can also select LTL or small parcel. Most of the time you'll probably use a small parcel unless you're shipping on a pallet, in which case you probably already know what inventory lab is. Um, but we're going to go ahead and create this shipment here. This right here is just a blank slate for us to go ahead and create a shipment. Um, this up here is something I really like about inventory or about inventory lab. Um, you can go ahead and create your own custom SKUs. So what mine are is this formula right here. Um, we've got supplier, I do my purchase date, and then my buy cost, and then this is just a random count that the inventory lab um, gives to it. So you can also edit this with this pencil right here. I really like this feature, I think it's really cool. Um, you could add all kinds of different options. So you could throw the ASIN, you can throw the condition if you're a bookseller in there. Um, list price, so you can maybe track how much the price has moved since you first listed it. Um, I, I use buy cost in there so that I can make sure that it's still profitable and I can still run my profit calculations as I am adjusting the price later on. Maybe if it didn't sell quite as well, I can see the buy cost in my ASIN or in my SKU and go ahead and run the profit calculations based on that. But you could set this up however you want. I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, but that's going to go ahead and assign that SKU to the product that you're listing. So let's go ahead and find just an example product to maybe make a shipment here. So I'm just going to use this basic um, shampoo just as an example, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to throw this up here. So you're going to add your ASIN up here. Um, you're going to search for the product and then you're going to select it. Um, once it go, once you're going to want to make sure, sometimes it'll pull up multiple products, you're just going to make sure that it has the, the right sizing and everything that your product actually is. So I'm going to select this because this is the same um, 33 ounce as I grabbed over here. And then you can see um, the prices that it's currently going for over here. You've got the offer count. Um, you've got all kinds of good information you can add here. You can do your quantities in here, your cost per unit. So let's say we're paying uh, $12 a bottle for this. You can adjust your purchase date. I, I usually set mine to today and that goes in my ASIN so that I know when the first time I sent that product in is so I can kind of figure out how old my products are. Um, you can adjust your quantity up to whatever you want. Um, your supplier. Um, you could leave, I'm just going to leave Walmart here for this, but you can add whatever suppliers you have. Um, you can add um, different online arbitrage stores, you can add your wholesale suppliers, you just type it in, whatever you want. Um, you add expiration dates if it's necessary. So in this case, I'm just going to do this for example. Um, maybe chop it down by there. Um, up here is pretty nice. It tells you what kind of prep type you need. Um, rather than in Seller Central, you're going to have to go through that last step to figure out what kind of prep you need. Um, it tells you right up front here that I'm going to need to polybag this so I would know to go ahead and poly bag all these items I'm just gonna price it at 30 so it doesn't strand when I go ahead and send this example shipment in um, and then so down here it shows you the net profit per unit you'd be making it shows you your ROI you can also set your price by the ROI so if you want to do 45% ROI it would price it there 
Um, kind of a cool feature. I don't really use that myself, but um, if you want to price by ROI, it's there for you. Um, and then you're also just going to press add to batch here at the end. And then when you do press add to batch, um, it should be set up to default to do this. Um, it could be a setting of some kind, but when you press add to batch, it's going to go ahead and send that. Um, so it's going to print out your little label. So before, if you're using Seller Central right now, you're going to have to print it out on 30 ups at the end of the shipment. But in this case, it goes ahead and immediately prints out your label onto it's 30334 is the Dymo size that you're going to need the label sizes. And you're also going to need a, um, a Dymo printer or a Rolo or whatever you want to use. I personally use a Dymo uh, 450 Turbo, I think it's called. There's going to be a link down below for that if you want to go ahead and check that out. But um, that's one of the main features of Inventory Lab is that you can immediately print your labels. And so it's just a lot faster process to go ahead and actually p package up your units because that's going to save you a touch where before you'd have to print out, um, you'd have to touch the item to go ahead and list it. And then you'd also have to touch it again. Um, to put a label on it. Um, it doesn't apply quite so much with online arbitrage because you're only touching one of them, but if you're a bookseller um, and you're going to have to touch all those books to list it and then you'd have to touch it again to label it, that's going to save you a ton of time if you want to switch to Inventory Lab. Um, but just like that, um, you can add as many products as you want. I'm just going to do this one product, for example, so Amazon doesn't get too mad at me when I don't send it in. Um, you're going to press Review Batch down here in the bottom right corner. You're just going to want to go ahead and review everything up here. Um, as you can see, this little bar down here is kind of fun to go ahead and review at the end of your shipments. Uh, you can figure out how much Amazon's taken, how much your buy cost is, and what your profit is. I like that. And then you're also just going to press submit right down here. You're going to send, uh, you're going to send the, the uh, shipment plan to Amazon and sync it. So right here, it's wanting me to send this product to Memphis, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and create this shipment and then press yes, create. So that's going to go ahead and um, tell Amazon that I'm ready to box this up and then I'm going to press enter box contents down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign this to box one. If you have a whole bunch of different products, um, you would just go ahead and create a new box right here um, and assign the next products to that next box and so on until you've got everything listed and it's going to track how much you've got left to assign down here. Um, but once you've got that done, you're going to transmit your boxes to Seller Central. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this box here. Uh, if I can figure out how to do that, remove box. Um, pretty simple right there. Uh, you're going to go ahead and press transmit to Seller Central. Um, it's going to want you to go ahead and enter in this this weight and dimensions. Um, and then the nice part about this is it's going to send it to Seller Central. So once you go over to Seller Central, all you're going to have to do is just print out the label and slap it on the boxes and you're ready to go. So I'm just going to say two, uh, let's just say 10, 10, and like five. So I'm going to press submit and then you're going to have to give it a couple minutes and you're going to wait for a box right down here to show up and tell you that it, it successfully sent to Seller Central and it's ready for you to go ahead and um, print those labels. So I'll be right back when that green box pops up. So it looks like that box popped up down here. It's just telling you that Amazon Seller um, has received your box content info and it's ready to go ahead and um, make a shipment out of it. So I'm going to go ahead over here into Seller Central and pull up that shipment. So now that I'm in Seller Central, uh, you're going to see that that one shipment has um, finalized. Um, you would press work on shipment, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're going to select UPS, or if you have a different carrier, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe if you have Amazon in your area, you could use Amazon, um, but I use UPS up here. Um, see, it already saved the uh, box information from where we shipped it in. Uh, you're going to press calculate right here, um, and that's going to um, charge you for shipping. You're going to press agree and accept. And then after that, you just go ahead and print out your label and slap it on the box. And just a reminder that at this stage, you have um, grabbed your labels from your Dymo or whatever label printer you use as you're done listing and slapped it on the uh, the products you're selling. You've done all the prep that Inventory Lab asked you to do, and you've gone ahead and thrown them in those boxes. Then you're ready to just go ahead and slap boxes or slap labels on the boxes, and you're good to go. You can schedule a UPS pickup, whatever you want to do. Um, prepping shipments in Inventory Lab is super simple, super easy, and it allows you to do Book, bookkeeping, which I'm going to go ahead and show you um, wh what that inventory lab bookkeeping looks like because I really like the kind of insights that it gives you on your business. So up on this top bar, you've got a whole bunch more resources that inventory lab offers. Um, under the research bar, 
Um, this actually um, goes along with um, Scoutify. You can get Scoutify 2 for free if you have an Inventory Lab subscription, which I think is really nice. I use Scoutify if I'm doing some art retail arbitrage sourcing, like at Marshalls or that kind of thing, and that's free with on Inventory Lab, which I think is really cool. Um, list is what you already saw just now. Inventory is going to show you all of your current inventory. Um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to click through there because I'd have to do a bunch of editing and it wouldn't really show you anything valuable after I edit all my products out. Um, your accounting is going to show you all kinds of good stuff. Um, it shows you all the refunds you're paying out and it's going to itemize that by date. It's going to show you um, how much you lost on that on those refunds and stuff. Also, you're going to be able to track your reimbursements, all that good stuff. You can check how much you're spending on shipping. You can check um, what the status of those shipments is. Um, you can also do um, something I really like is this the uh, profitability features. I can show you the category profitability here. Um, so this is what has um, this is what my stores looked like for the last month. Um, you can filter by all kinds of um, um, whatever you want. You've got how many units you've sold. So lawn and patio, I've sold the most in. Um, it can show you uh, what you've done in shipping, your revenue, your ROI, your profit. Uh, so we can filter by profit. Uh, so I've done 24, about 2300 in lawn and patio and then a bunch of other good stuff. A um, bunch of OA products and that kind of stuff. You can track your ROI. So maybe um, if you have a good insight on huh, my ROI in, so currently my ROI in grocery is 40%. So that tells me, um, and the profit is fairly high. So that tells me that these units are probably um, pretty steady. So I can go ahead and keep doubling down on grocery. Whereas beauty, I might want to watch out for um, prices tanking, that kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of eaten into my ROI there. Um, but then you've also got other categories like books where it's really cheap, so the ROI is really high. Um, uh, but yeah, you can kind of just use this and you're also able to break down your SKU profitability. If you're a wholesale seller, um, you can do supplier profitability. Uh, you can check. I, I like supplier profitability for OA because you can be um, uh, so you can check maybe Walgreens is super profitable for you. Um, but Target, a lot of products have been tanking maybe. Um, so you maybe want to just keep that in mind when you're sourcing from those stores. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it valuable. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out Inventory Lab, that link again is going to be down below. That's going to help me out as well. Um, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, um, I've helped out your business in this video. So if you want to um, do the same, help out my business, subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Um, feel free to like and comment, ask any questions that you've got down below. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks, guys.